Your question about if you have money in the bank and you want to know whether it is zakatable or not, there is something called an nisab. An nisab is what determines whether this money is zakatable or not. There are two conditions for any money to be zakatable. Once they're met, then the person must pay zakah on this money. Number one, an nisab which is possessing the minimum amount which is zakatable. The three should, once you reach the three should, and the second condition, which is related to the first, they must be fulfilled, both of them, is hawalan wal hawl, where the money must be kept in your position, whether it's invested or in a saving account or you lent it to somebody, but it is yours for an entire lunar year. The lunar year goes by the Islamic calendar. Rajab, Sha'ban, Ramadan, Dhul Hijjah, Dhul Qa'dah. So let's say that, oh, alhamdulillah, you started making some money and earning and your saving have reached an nisab. And an nisab is determined against the value of gold or silver. So, if you have an amount of money, of cash, or investment, or shares in the stock market, or whatever, jewelry, worth 85 gram of gold, 85 gram of gold or 595 gram of silver, and you maintain this amount without any interruption for a whole lunar year, then you must pay zakah on it. The rate will be 2.5% of what you have. And this amount has to be paid annually, lunar uh, year. Every lunar year, you must pay the amount at the same time, as long as you still maintain it. So what if your position was decreased lesser than the amount of 85 gram of gold or 595 gram of silver, then you don't have to pay zakah. So I hope you remember these two conditions.